two days back, AWS announced that public IP addresses will not be free in the near future. What does this mean for you? And what is the right thing to do in the response to this change? As of now, when you create an EC2 instance and give it a normal version 4 public IP, there is no additional charge for that. You only pay in case of Elastic IP and that too when it is not attached to an instance or the instance is stopped. All of this changes from 1st February 2024. It will cost $0.005 per hour to use a public IP version 4 address on AWS. That means an EC2 instance with a public IP or a public load balancer. If the service uses a version 4 public IP address, there will be an additional charge. Going forward, the charges will be the same, be it a version 4 public IP or an Elastic IP. Why did AWS bring this change? To make an additional $3.75 per instance? No. The actual reason is to push the adoption of IP version 6. Unlike IP version 4, there is no scarcity of public IP addresses in IP version 6. AWS started supporting IPv6 quite early and they have got a good number of features already working with IP version 6. If this change is understood properly, it will force people to follow the best practices and not allocate public IPs without thorough planning. In order to make it easier for you to monitor your usage of public IP addresses, version 4, AWS has launched Public IP Insights, a new zero-cost feature of IPAM. It is possible to minimize the usage of IP version 4 addresses and instead go ahead and use IP version 6 for the same. If you want to learn more about IP version 6 usage in Amazon VPC, check this video on our channel.